Barbara, you scare me to death. I'm sorry. Honest, I am. <laughs> Were you really worried about me? Do you have to spend all your time taking chances? You're constantly testing yourself. You know, that reminds me of a poem I used to know. The sun is bright for so sweet an hour to warm the grass and nourish the flower and I don't remember the rest of the lines. Okay, I understand why you're doing this, but can't you do something that doesn't threaten your life? Something useful? Yeah, that too. Well, I tried that. I wanted to teach, so TK was ready to build me a school. I went into music. He bought me a recording company. See, he's so eager to protect his little girl that he removes all the challenges. So, I challenge myself, see? <laughs> Take that away, I may as well just... Hey, you want to buy a horse? A horse? Yeah, I've had my eye on one for a couple of weeks. Beautiful animal, and I think it's time I bought him. Where is it? About 200 miles north of here. <laughs> expect to get this thing home. It'll probably fit in the trunk if we tie it down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, but isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, why don't you go inside and ask the lady if she has any rope? Right. <sighs> okay, boy. Here we go. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> no. Uh. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Oh. Will you hurry up, Darby? I... Is there anything I can do? You call an ambulance. Hurry. But there are no ambulances around here. Where's the nearest hospital? About uh, 90 miles east. Do you have a couch in there? Chippendale, 1870. All right, can you get my bag out of the car, please? It's that damned ulcer, Trapper. She's hemorrhaging and she's in shock. The cryoprecipitate doesn't seem to be working and I don't have any blood here. I'm sure we're gonna have to go in and stop it. And there are complications. She has some bleeding in back of one eye. If we bounce her around too much, she may end up blind. Well, if she needs surgery, you're going to have to do it there. Uh, what kind of facilities do you have? Mostly Victorian and early American. <laughs> You'll have to bring everything. I called T.K. Sheldon. His helicopter's ready to go. Uh, can you keep her stable? Yeah, I think so. But hurry up, will you? All right, we're on our way. Ready when you are, Dr. John. <laughs> I've never been on a helicopter. In a helicopter. Well, I understand you get you right in the pit of the stomach. Yeah. Um, Dottie, you've been working awfully hard. I couldn't oh, no. possibly ask you to do this. Uh, yes, yeah. Doctor. Uh, hang on just a minute. Yes, what time we got? About 20 minutes. Okay, I gotta make a quick call to the salt jungle. At a time like this, you're worried about your waistline? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Look, this is Dr. Rivers. Where are you going to do the surgery, Doctor? Uh, how's the light in that back room? Exquisite. A crystal chandelier, French. 19th century. Great. And I'll need a table. Oh, that one back there. It's very old. From a Spanish monastery. Okay, we'll use it. And I'll need all the sheets that you can spare. We'll drape them around the room to keep the dust down. Mm -hmm. Can I answer? Yeah, right here, Darby. I remember the last line of that poem. <sighs> Not now. Save your strength. And darkness descends. And the flowers cry. One last glimpse of sunlight. And so do I.
Well, a lot more exciting than running a gym, right? No commercials, Trapper, please. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Sponge. What's your pressure, Pete? 94 over 58. Pulse is 116. Hope you brought along enough blood. She's doing a lot of bleeding. Suction. Thank you. There it is. There's your bleeder right there. Hey, Trapper, this lady's terrific. She's the best. She's more than I can say with this damn light. What do you expect? It's a reproduction. I'm terribly sorry for any inconvenience we may have caused you, Mrs. Uh... Watkins. Watkins, yes. I want you to know how grateful I am for uh, the cooperation you've given us. I just hope your daughter's going to be all right. Well, whatever happens, I want you to know you'll be well paid for your trouble. A lifetime subscription to uh, Sophisticate magazine? Among other things, yes. I'd love it, but my husband won't let me bring it into the house. Well... She did pretty well. Bleeding's under control for now. Let's just hope it stays that way. Gonzo, I... Uh, I don't want to lose her. Neither do I. Can we keep her here for a few more days until it's safe for her to be moved? Uh, well, all I've got is that back room. Well, that'll be fine. I promise you, Mrs. Watkins, I'll make it up to you. This is our slow season anyway, so make yourselves at home. How's Darby? Uh, two good nights in a row. I'm about ready to be optimistic. Well, she was always optimistic. She knew she'd make it. I'll give you a hand. Where's Trapper? He went back to San Francisco. Soup's in there with Darby. I've been on the phone all morning talking to the board members at your hospital. I've got some interesting plans for you. <laughs> yeah, let me guess. Wash the Titanic, take it out of the parking lot. Now they're thinking of making you chief surgeon. Chief surgeon? That's Trapper's job. No, it's your job if you want it. Just a matter of ironing out a few details. Wait a minute. I can't do that to Trapper. Well, he can always find something else. I mean, after the contribution you've made to Darby, it's the least I can do to show you my gratitude. Uh, no. No, Mr. Sheldon. Thank you, but not like that. I like my life just the way it is. You're a hard man to please. No, actually, I'm very easy to please. What do you want? Your own hospital? I can arrange that, too. <laughs> no, thank you. Gonzo, I just want you to get the recognition that you deserve. I mean, what, why do you resist that so much? I don't know. Call it independence. Well, there's no such thing as independence. I mean, we all need each other in one way or another. Take that problem for an example. Now, each one of us made a contribution. It was a combination of efforts that saved Darby's life. So why make me the hero? Because you are the hero. You put us all together. And there's another reason. Darby is very much in love with you. There's some ice cream in the car. You want to bring it in before it melts? Well, it's time for us to go, Mrs. Watson. Oh, I'm really going to miss all this excitement. After a week with us, you'll welcome your privacy. You ready? After five days in this place, I could fly home without the copter. <laughs> You flying with us? No, I'll be driving your car back to San Francisco. TK told me that you turned down his offer. I wish you'd change your mind. <laughs>